I'm authentic. I'm authentic. Who are you? Who are you? What up, people? It's Authentic Benny. I'm back with another video, man. Back with another video. Of course, we got the beast in the background, as you can see. We got the beast in the background, man. About to head to the gym. I just wanted to give y'all a, a, a full walk around and semi-review of this car. Uh, we will go into an in-depth review, but I want to show y'all the interior on this video. But first, man, I want to give y'all a cold start because uh, for the people who watched the first video, this truck come with so much more than what it looked like right now. Like it won't look like this in the coming weeks because when, when we bought this truck, the truck came in before the LPOs. The LPOs are the accessories that was supposed to be installed by the dealership, but I told them I want the truck now. So I had to bring the truck back whenever uh, Whenever the parts and pieces come in, I'll just drop it back off so they can install everything. Uh, some of them things is like the automatic, uh, I don't know what you call them, the automatic steps, uh, a blackout package like that 6.2 will be in black. The Z71 will be in black. Um, I already blacked this out right here, as y'all can see in that authentic tent. But the one they putting on is black. I just tell them don't touch it. You know, leave it as is. Uh, this will be black. Uh, trying to walk around and see if I can remember. Uh, oh, trail boss. That'll be black for sure. And then we got the Chevy inlays. It's going to be black. LT black and Silverado black. I'm not sure if they're going to touch them tips. But they will touch the exhaust, man. The exhaust will be crazy, man. That's one reason why I wanted to start this video off right now. To show y'all what the exhaust sound like. I want to get y'all like a before and after, man. Like every video I put out, I'm going to auto start the car to let y'all hear. Let y'all get a, a good feel for what the truck sound like right now. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and hit that auto start button. So y'all can experience this weakness, man. <laughs> That's trash. So as y'all heard, that that was straight trash, man. Straight drop trash, man. So uh, we definitely got to get that together, work that out. And uh, as soon as they call me, man, I'm talking about this, as soon as they call me, I will be dropping my truck off um so they can fix that up man i don't know what type of exhaust it is but it says something about a performance exhaust um hopefully it sound good i don't know exactly which one they going with but uh it gotta sound better than that whatever it is you know some type of performance exhaust and i tried to find my uh i tried to find a sticker to the truck but obviously they took it out, so I got them to send me a digital copy. And we're gonna do another video. Boy, it'd be hard backing this thing out, but this show help. Look at that, man, 3D view. I ain't trying to hit no mailboxes or nothing. You see the front, and you see, you know, as I turn, you see where I'm going. Because I can't see nothing in this big truck. I gotta rely on them cameras, man. <laughs> but uh, that's another good thing about it. But like I was saying, uh, they will be sending me digital copies of the uh, sticker so I can get y'all all the features because it is a lot of features a lot of stuff I don't even remember and that's gonna be on a whole nother video though but uh like I said this video is basically going through a brief overview of the interior and uh we're gonna stop and get some gas in a second right now I'm a little under half so we can we can kind of see how that gas is gonna be too we're gonna get some gas and then we're gonna go over the features when we make it to the gym, man. So, with that being said, I'll see y'all at the pump. All right, y'all. We just pulled up and we about to go ahead and give y'all an interior review. Go ahead and uh, bust everything open, you know. That way y'all can see exactly what we got. I gotta figure out how to unlock all of those at one time. This ain't working for me, man. This ain't working for me. But, um, 
full interior review right now. Let y'all know exactly how it's looking, exactly how we coming. Um, uh, I guess we'll start from the back, you know. Uh, as you can see right here, it's like a, a coffee brown. Probably can't tell, but it's like a coffee brown. Depending on how to say it, you can't. Really, I can't really pick it up in the video, man. Y'all gonna have to take my word for it, man. Coffee brown uh, interior, seat belts brown. All this is like a coffee brown. Uh, everything up top, coffee brown color. You really can't see it, bro. Like all the inside of the doors and everything, like a dark, dark mocha coffee brown type thing. And then when you get up here. This is like a real, real tan. Uh, it ain't really tan, like a light brown, I guess you'll say. And leather seats, light brown, you know. Um, this is what I really like about it too. You got extra storage in the back. All you gotta do is pull it, just like that. Boom, extra storage, hard plastic. That way you can throw tools and everything back there. Nothing will really be affected. Um, that's pretty good, man. That's a nice little touch, you know, some extra storage. And then you just close that thing on back. When it comes to the center, pop that down. You got your cup holders and everything right here. Should have had some phone chargers like within this, but that's just me being picky. Um, close that back down. Right here, you got a USB-C and a USB-A. So you can just pick your poison either way you want to go with that charge your phone up real nice you know um two vents for the rear passengers um another thing i think it should have came with is heated seats in the back they should have had that option for the back but again that's me being picky man um it don't make no sense for me to go around to the other side because it's pretty much the same thing uh speaker here uh they got the bowl system in the inside so what's going on man bowl system in the inside so it's sounding real real good oh i forgot to tell y'all man seats lift up it's like a 60 40 type thing uh you got your jack that come with the car this is my uh this is my uh tape i use like when i'm wrapping cars and stuff got magnets on the end stick to the car get a good measurement but this is the jack that come with the truck lift this up um I thought I had my jack in here. I need to put it in here, but uh, you know, you can put your tools under there. I got like jumper cables and, and dog leashes because <laughs> that's what I do, man. You know, that's my tools. Dog leashes and collars and stuff like that, man. Shout out Authentic Frenchies, by the way. Authentic Dot Frenchies. Make sure you get your Frenchie, man. You know you want one. All right, coming along the front. Uh, we got an energy drink, <laughs> and we got the heat. This what B got for me uh, yesterday when we got the tent. Oh, pretty much the same thing though, like a light brown leather. I'm a fan of black interior, but like I said, it's slim, slim pickings these days, man. So I got what I can get. Um, come down to the inside. I'll go ahead and throw my bag up there. Uh, on the floor, I don't even have mats like them. It comes with like the mud grip some type of Mud grip mats with the Chevy logos and all that on it. That's one of the LPOs I was telling you about that uh, That didn't even arrive at the dealership yet. So there's that don't even have floor mats yet. So um bare minimum straight from the uh, factory man, so um, when it comes to uh, storage Got two glove compartments. Got a little small one up here. I don't have much in here right now. Just the paperwork from the dealership. And as you can see, a little small space, you know what I'm saying, where you could duck something off real quick. That's it. And then you got another one right underneath it. This one got a lock on it. Pop that. You got a little extra space. Put whatever you need up in there. You know, uh, I don't even know what's in here right now. Just stuff from the dealership. Stuff I'll probably never even look at or read or nothing like that. But I'll we'll close that off. And then we're gonna head to the other side of the car, man. That mug just don't just looks so beastly, don't you agree though? But headed to the other side. 
and we gonna actually hop in go ahead and close that because we don't need it no more um and i will be giving you a full walk around this is this video only for the interior so don't worry i'll give you all a video of the full exterior and what options i went with so uh going in as you can see up top you got the sunroof man you got the sunroof i always leave that cracked open and um we got plenty more coming <laughs> to the top man so many mods in, in, in store for us man i just can't wait i just can't tell y'all right now but we got the sunroof we got um everything over here this is window up and down uh got the sticker on that because i just got the tent yesterday fresh fresh tent don't want to mess that up uh you can swap from each side to kind of adjust the uh side windows uh you got this big space right here you can put two drinks in here and then of course you got the bowl system and again this is like the chocolate mocha brown i know it probably looked black on video but it is a chocolate color which i really like steering wheel the same chocolate color i'm gonna go ahead and hop in go ahead and hop in this thing man oh as you can see right here you got the uh button for the parking brake uh i don't know what none of this mean i'm not gonna sit up and act like i do but you got a mode button i guess if you got a trail on the back you hit that button right here uh i don't know how this worked i know this is the fog lights because i tried that out i like the look of the fog riding with the fog lights only uh that's the light for the bed in the back of the truck i don't know what these are uh this is a four-wheel drive or a two-wheel drive so i'm assuming you hit two you in real real rear wheel you hit four 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 down. i don't know what exactly that mean and auto i'm assuming uh the truck will automatically adjust to uh the road conditions but again i don't know man i gotta dig into the features um Closing the door here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing on. As you can see, that thing come to life. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, indeed, looking good. So, I'm gonna wait for that to boot up. But while that boot up, I'll show you how to rest. Put that to the side. Got my other hustle juice right here. Uh, this is just a charger that I use for my phone, but you got space in the middle. I usually just sit my phone like right in the middle, something like this, boom, you know, or it's got a wireless charger right here. I take my wallet off real quick. Watch this, man. You see this little square right here? Right there, you'll see that change in a minute. Take my phone and just slide it in. should see it come to life boom start charging and as you can see right here she is charging man she is charging man i like that it's so convenient you just take your phone you know whatever you got to do with it grab your phone drop it in and then she charging just like that <laughs> that's so convenient man but uh other than that we got two cup holders right here we got an extra cubby space right here you know um up top we got uh of course the start stop button i don't know what this is it got something to do with trailering or something like that um you got your heated seats the, the back of the seat and also the bottom i never use this this is louisiana another thing i wish this car would have came with was cool seats i hate that it don't you know that's one of the big features i really really wanted but trail bosses don't come with it i don't know why if i would have known that i really wanted a trail boss but if i had known that i probably would have went with an rst or a uh i forgot the the other top model but um that's what that is uh of course you can change the temperature right here to whatever you want and you can separate it from the passenger side if you want to do that uh you got your auto 
you got I don't know what this is I got to do more research on that of course you got your AC coming from the vents and you got your AC going to the going to the feet and then max of course all that turn the AC up or down you know we're gonna have that thing up oh, that's why I had to get that ceramic tent man it's hot in Louisiana for real oh um, block out the outside uh, air you know your basic functions and stuff that come with any other truck but this is the refresh you know they, they got people with 2022s whose interior look nothing like this so I just wanted to give you an overview of the refresh you know so we're gonna head to the info tank no this is the info tank we're gonna head to the uh, the odometer cluster it's all digital man all digital and fully customizable bro so as you can see if you go to display layout wait where we at okay display layout i go with the clean look i only want to see like miles per hour and that's it i like a cleaner design cleaner look but you can make this thing completely different i'm gonna go all the way up to the classic start with that one for right now as you can see, that thing come to life, bro. <laughs> that thing come to life, bro. Uh, on the classic, you got it look just like what the uh, title is, like a classic display. You see your miles per hour to the left. Um, you can change things in the middle, and then miles per hour up top, and also the speed limit. That's a real, real good touch, real, real good feature. You just glance up there at the speed limit. And see exactly what you need to be doing if I can focus in on it. Ah, uh, y'all see that fit a little bit. But uh you see exactly uh what speed limit you need to be doing, which is a good touch. Alright, to the right right here, you got your modes. And it's a normal mode right here. I don't know how many modes this car has. Uh again, I gotta dig into that. The dealership will be sending me the sticker on that. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that video. But this shows you the RPM which is something I gotta get back used to looking into. And you got the pedal shifters to where you can, you can, you know, you can make the truck do what it do. But <clears throat> that's the classic mode, the classic look. Um, if we go down, you'll see there's a pr progressive, a progressive uh, layout. And we'll go ahead and click that. And you see the animations, why the thing come to life. So the progressive is a little different. That's the miles per hour change a little bit. You still got the miles power at the top and the truck. It's the same layout, but just a different look. The RPMs are to the right, but I really do like the way they look, you know, um, going down to digital. Boom. She transforming the digital and the digital look is kind of tight, too. That's kind of like a more clean look. It's like a, a mixture between uh, the classic and the clean look. But yeah, I guess you could change. You could probably change all this to display whatever you want to do uh, again I gotta dig into that but you got your compass over here and you got your truck over here but like I said I'm pretty sure you can put whatever you want to put there whatever information you want to see I'm sure you can do that but like I said I keep it clean I like the clean look so we gonna transfer up transform my back to the clean look and then when you exit off that even goes away and all you see is miles per hour in the center. I'll show y'all when it go away. But uh, over here, you got a vent. You got a vent. There you go. It just went away. Nice, clean look, man. That's what I like to see. But over here is pretty much the meat and potatoes of the whole interior to me. This is what I like, man. This is what I like to see. And this is pressure, man. This step things up a notch. This is the reason why I never uh, wanted to go with Chevy because they still had the old school uh, display up here with the analog. Everything was old school. They finally refreshed this and they finally gave us a big wide screen. You know, this is 13 point something inch screen. It's like, it's, it's not small at all. It, it look even bigger in person. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk y'all through the steps. It's got Google Assistant as you can see built in like you don't have to do nothing so uh i could just say hey google what's the weather today 
Today in Gits, there'll be isolated thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 84 and a low of 69. Ooh. Currently, it's 80 degrees and cloudy. By the way. All right, doesn't know. Doesn't know. I ain't asked for all that Google. <laughs> but, uh that's that man it's just so convenient you can ask to play a song you can ask to uh listen to news you can ask for your favorite podcast you can tell it to to play some authentic benny you know what i'm saying if you're feeling that way you could do whatever you know of course uh if i had my phone right here on the charger it'll show that it's charging um you got uh cameras of course it show you everything man front view as y'all can see exactly where we at, the 3D view of all around the truck. And then you got all the, I'm not going to mess with this because I don't know how to set it back up. But this is how I like it. If you put it in reverse, you got uh, your rear view. Your rear view, and of course everything else around you. And you just hit that button for port. <laughs> Tell me that ain't pressure, man. But that go away. Uh, you can swipe. Wait. You got the Play Store. You could buy apps. Um, swipe over. Trailering. Uh, I will be messing with that soon because of the big plans we got coming. But not yet. Uh, settings, of course. You know, Spotify is the only app I really got downloaded right now. Uh, I don't know what that is. But you got different apps right here. Oh, let me show y'all the Google Maps, man. This used the whole display, man. This used the whole display, bro. Look at that. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy to me. Like, I can't believe how crazy that look, but that looks so crazy to me, bro. The whole display. And you get little, little nudges, little notifications here when it's time to turn. That way, if you paying attention to the road, you just see the notification, you know, oh, damn, it's time to turn. Or you know to go ahead and look at the map. That way you can get back right, you know? So, uh... You got the home button right here too. You don't have to, you can hit this button or you can hit the home button. So a physical button and that take you home. Just like that. Of course, we got the wireless Apple CarPlay. Uh, when we go to music, I'll show you the Spotify. So you got the Spotify that pops up. Nah, y'all ain't gonna get me like that, man. Y'all ain't gonna get me with the copyright, man. But uh, five year form man, I've been bruh, I've been on his music like crazy, you know. Um, it's been it's been pressure, but uh, as you can see, I keep the digital clock up here, but an analog digital, I don't know which one to call it, but you can swipe up, trailer view. They got cameras all over this truck. You can see how your trailer doing in the back. Say get started. We will be getting started on that soon. Um, and like I said, the Google Maps. But I keep it on the clock. Um, it's a bunch of different things you could do. Uh, but I will show y'all the Apple CarPlay right now because I like the way that look. All right, so it does have wireless Apple CarPlay. I didn't set that up yet, but I did just connect my phone. As you can see, it popped up right there. So all I have to do is click authentic iPhone, Apple CarPlay. We in there. As you can see, that is, you know, what I'm bumping right now. Uh, again, you got the maps. Still got my Tesla supercharger set up, you know. Um, but hey, that's 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 how, that's how they go. I wish the map was widescreen like the Google one, but hey, man, beggars can't be choosy. Of course, Google gonna make their integrate theirs better than any other company. You know, I would do the same thing. I ain't gonna even cap, but. Uh, as you can see, you can go back to the apps. You got your text messages. You got uh, audio books you can listen to, news, podcasts. Any app that'll work with Apple CarPlay will be on this display. So as you see, you can have a split screen like that with everything else in it. You can have, um, you can go do your other apps, you know, charge point. I got all these plug share and stuff like that. Uh, when I had the Tesla, uh, you can look at your calendar. Of course, Google Maps is inside my phone. Spotify, uh, Teams, you know, you could take like little calls with people. That's something like Zoom. And we got Zoom in this thing. So, you know, the, the car come with all this, you know, you could do all that on there. And that's what it is, man. 
of course you got Sirius XM, you got the regular radio, um, you got HD radio and all that, but I kind of keep it to um, streaming my own music and listening to podcasts and stuff. I even took that big stupid antenna off, man, because I don't like the way it looked. So that was the first thing I took off. I don't even know where it's at now. I don't listen to radio no more, so that, that's a wrap for that. Um, but this video was extra long. But I hope you enjoyed the video, man. I hope it was informative. I know people kept asking me, uh, you know, what come in the truck, what kind of interior you got and all that. So I wanted to give an in-depth uh, look at the new refreshed interior for 2022. So again, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell that way you're notified each and every time we drop a banger, man. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Authentic Benny, I'm out.